Belarus says it is unable to pay off debt due to sanctions. Here's a summary of the article. We process your data to deliver content or advertisements and measure the delivery of such content or advertisements to extract insights about our website. Your device can receive and send information that allows you to see and interact with ads and content. Personalized ads and content, ad and content measurement, audience insights and product development. Personalized ads can be shown to you based on a profile about you. A profile can be built about you and your interests to show you personalized content that is relevant to you. Personalized content can be shown to you based on a profile about you. Ads can be shown to you based on the content you're viewing, the app you're using, your approximate location, or your device type. This post received a score of 44,000, with an upvote ratio of 93%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Just ask Russia to help you. That should work. Maybe he should have given Putin a tank instead of a tractor. The tractor took the tank. Ah yes, the USSR equivalent of dog ate my homework. But comrade Putin, I left the tank next to your doorstep hidden behind the plant. I even took a Polaroid picture of it. It must have been stolen by those darn globalists. Did you check for giant tire tracks? You mean track tracks. I guess Belarus is going to have to be repossessed. How does that work on a national scale though? Have countries ever used land or gold reserves as collateral for loans, or is it typically just reputational damage? Sanctions and fewer lending options, much higher rates on those that remain, which translates into higher interest rates for citizens. It's a true slippery slope of shit, inflation rises, unemployment rises, people stop trusting the banks and the government, economy collapses. They're in for a shit show. Their only way out of this is to defeat Europe and America in a war. Thus begins the age of Belarusian global domination. They deserve it if they can make it through Poland. Does that make Germany the final boss battle? No, that's France. France is the bonus stage. Britain be like. Don't be so sanctionable then. Bless. He thought he could participate in a mass military assault on an innocent neighboring state and it wouldn't have any blowback. I do that all the time. Don't we all? Don't we all? Just don't do it too often, and try not to get caught. Don't just stare at it, eat it. Actions have consequences, who knew? Not this guy. Well, he knows now. Do you think he sees underscore action greater than reaction underscore is causation or is correlation? Depends on if it helps him. He cannot pay debt because of sanctions. Own actions and sanctions? Not even correlated, instead evil doing by the West? Exactly. So many people on the internet fail to grasp that basically everyone supporting Putin, Lukashenko shares this flawed logic. It's a nonsensical way to look at causality, but that's how the current economic reality is justified in the minds of Putin supporters. I think sanctions are absolutely worthwhile in terms of inflicting economic damage. I think they're useless in terms of changing the minds and hearts of fascists. The reason is exactly due to the mental gymnastics you so succinctly outlined. I think you are exactly right. But I don't think sanctions should aim to change the hearts and minds of fascists. I think they should create conditions in their countries that force them to change if they want to remain in power, or cause the people to oust them if they refuse. Also, The economic damage they inflict can take away the tools fascists use to hurt others, e.g. ability to purchase or manufacture weapons. Bottom line, we do not have to care about the heart and mind of a fascist that is either ousted or impotent. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.